Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. Today we're going to learn all about the final letter of the alphabet, the 26th letter. It is a consonant letter, and if you want to find out how we pronounce this, stick with me. Okay, have a look at this list of countries. If you live in one of these countries, or you learned English from someone in one of these countries, you probably pronounce this letter Z, Z, Z. However, if you live in this country, or you learned English from this country, you will probably pronounce this letter Z, Z, Z. So, if you're from the USA, you'll say Z, Z. But if you're from pretty much anywhere else, you'll say Z, Z, Z. So, why are the Americans different? Why did America decide that it was Z and not Z? Well, there are some reasons that people believe the Americans said it would be better to say Z. One of them is that Z actually rhymes with other letters of the alphabet. Letters like B or C or D or P or T, they all have that E sound. So Z just fits nicely in that pattern. B, C, D, E, T, Z. Okay. The English, people from my country, and most of the other countries that use Z, they simply took it from the ancient Zeta letter found in the Greek alphabet. That's where we get that from. Zeta became later, 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 Z, Z. And we still use Z today. This also applies to some words. Look at words like zebra. Zebra is American. That's how they would say this word, zebra. However, the British, what do you think they would say? They wouldn't say zebra. They'd say zebra. Zebra with that z again. Z instead of z. So it's not only the letter that can change, but also the sound of the letters afterwards in words sometimes, like in zebra or zebra. Both of these pronunciations are actually correct. You can use Z or Z. No problem with using either. However, if you use Z, people will assume, people will guess that you're probably from the UK or Australia or New Zealand or somewhere like that. If you use Z, people will guess that you're probably from the USA. So you can choose. I have a question though for you, which one did you learn? Which one do you use? Is it Z or Z? I'm interested to know which one you have been using throughout your English learning journey. Let me know in the comments below. So what about this letter? How do we actually pronounce this letter? It's pronounced usually Z, Z, Z. And you might notice that the mouth position is nearly the same, or exactly the same, as the letter S. When we make that S sound at the beginning of words like say, with the S, 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 that S sound has the same mouth position. S, like this, S, and Z, 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 Z. So the only difference is actually that Z is voiced. Z is a voiced sound where we vibrate our vocal cords. Z, Z, Z. And actually, there are many students that find this difference quite difficult when you're speaking really fast to pronounce S like S and Z like Z. So a really good exercise you can do here is to practice minimal pairs. Have a look at these ones. Look at C's versus Z's, C and Z, C's, Z's. Look at sane and zane. Sane with that S and zane. Sane and zane. See if you can say them quickly. Sane, zane. Sane and zane. Sane and zane. Make sure you've got the S and the Z. Then we have sip and zip. Sip and zip. Sip and zip. Or lace and lays, lace and lays. One has that s sound, the other has that z sound. Lace and lays. Finally, a nice easy one, sit 
and zit. Sit and zit. Say them really quickly together. Sit, zit. Sit, zit. Sit, zit. Okay? I want you to go back and practice those until you're super, super comfortable because a lot of students make that mistake of getting those letters, that s sound and z sound, mixed up. So make sure that you're pronouncing both absolutely perfectly and then we can move on. So let's look at some words that begin with that z sound. Words like zombie, zombie. You probably all know this word pretty well. Zombie, zombie. Or zealous, zealous, zealous. Or even zodiac, zodiac, zodiac. Or zinc, zinc, zinc. And finally, zap, zap, zap. Okay. So again, zombie, zealous, zodiac, zinc, and zap. Zombie, zealous, zodiac, zinc, and zap. What about when the letter Z comes in the middle of some words? Words like amazing, 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 or hazard, hazard, or even cozy, 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 or wizard, 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 and citizen, 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 or lazy, lazy. Now, something to remember here, words like cozy, cozy, I'm actually using the American spelling of this word to teach you. In the UK, we often actually write this word with an S. Cozy. Cozy. Okay? Whereas in the US, they're more likely to use Z or Z and write cozy. Cozy. So, what about some words that end in the letter Z? Words like quiz. 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 We should have a quiz soon, I think. Let's do a quiz on some of the sounds of English. Or showbiz, 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 quiz and showbiz. Now, there are also many words in English that contain two Zs or two letter Zs. Many of these end in Z, Z, Y. Look at words like fuzzy, fuzzy, or dizzy, dizzy, or fizzy, fizzy or even snazzy, snazzy. All of these end in that Z, Z, Y, and it's just pronounced Z, Z, dizzy, fuzzy, or snazzy. There are also many words in English that finish with Z, Z, L, E, Z, Z, L, E. Look at words like puzzle, puzzle. Now this is quite tricky. You've got that Z, 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 puzzle, puzzle, or even muzzle. Muzzle, or one of my favourite words in all of English, bedazzle, bedazzle. There's a shorter version, dazzle, but one of my favourite words is bedazzle, bedazzle. And finally, we have sizzle, sizzle, and drizzle. In the UK, where I'm from, we have a lot of drizzle, drizzle, okay? If you know what that means, let me know and let everybody else know in the comments below. Drizzle, what is it? Finally, there are a few words that actually end in Z, Z in English. Many of them you will know. Words like jazz, jazz, jazz music, fizz, fizz, or fuzz, fuzz, or buzz, buzz, or even whiz, whiz. All of those end in that Z, Z. Again, just pronounced z, z, buzz whiz and jazz. So let's try some tongue twisters that combine Z words, okay? Have a look at this first one. Zelda's zebras zigzagged through the zesty zoo zone, zipping past the plaza. Zelda's zebras zigzagged through the zesty zoo zone, zipping past the plaza. One more time. Zelda's zebras zigzagged through the zesty zoo zone, zipping past the plaza. Okay, that was a pretty tough one, but there's one more. Have another look at the next one. Jazzy jazz, fuzzy fuzz, and fizzy fizz made dazzy dizzy. Jazzy jazz, fuzzy fuzz, and fizzy fizz 
made Dazzy dizzy. Okay, practice both of those tongue twisters until it's super easy for you to just say z z z z whenever you see it in any words. Now, the letter Z, when combined together with other letters, sometimes makes a different sound. Look at when it's combined with T. T and Z together very often make this tss, tss, tss sound. Okay, look at words like blitz, blitz, blitz. It's got bli and then tss, blitz, or even waltz. Waltz, waltz, which is a type of dance, waltz. What about the country? Switzerland, Switzerland, Switzerland. Okay, so when you see T and Z together, they nearly always have that tss, tss sound. Now, also, when you see Z and Z together, but the word is an Italian word, a word from Italy, words like pizza, or mozzarella, it also has that tss sound. So remember, ZZ, as we know, is normally pronounced zzz, but if that word is an Italian word, in English we pronounce it with that tss, tss, mozzarella, or pizza, mozzarella and pizza. Now, there is one word in English that I know that has a different pronunciation for that letter Z, and it is the word azure. Azure, azure. If anybody knows what this word means, be really cool if you could pop that in the comments below. It's another nice word in English, azure. It's got a nice sound too. And this is one of the only words that I know where the letter Z actually has that zh, zh. It's not a zzz, it's zh, a zh pronunciation. Azure, azure. Likewise, I only found one or two words in English where the letter Z was silent. There are not many words in English where the letter Z is silent. One of them is this word, rendezvous, rendezvous, which comes from the French, just like laissez-faire, laissez-faire, also from the French, okay? Both of these are borrowed words from French, but we use them in English very, very regularly. And both of these words in English have that silent Z, but there are not many other words in English that have a silent Z. So, what is your favourite word in English beginning with Z? What is it? Now, we're going to finish this series there. I'm really happy to know that lots of you guys have tuned in to see all of these lessons from A, B, C, all the way through to this letter Z or Z at the end and there are lots more videos to come so make sure that if you haven't already you've subscribed to this channel so you don't miss any future videos one more thing i also have been working really hard over the past few months and i've made a website easyenglishwithjames.com on that website you can actually find a game that i made called a tongue twister generator where you'll hear me speak lots of different tongue twisters. You can generate random tongue twisters and listen to the way that I say these tongue twisters. And that way you can practice so many different sounds in English. So make sure you head on over to my website. There are lots of cool articles, English lessons, even a few games on there to help you improve your English grammar, pronunciation, and to make you more fluent, okay? So head on over there if you can. Lots more videos coming up, hopefully a new series starting, helping you with things like connected speech, a few of my favorite tongue twisters I wanna make a video about, but also if you have any recommendations for videos you would like me to make, write that in the comments on any of my videos and I will take note and I will try to make one in the future. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and this series. Please do share it with any other people you know that are also learning English and you think this would help them improve. And I will see you again for another lesson. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.